And now pay that debt. Okay, they should do it now. Love that money, but the trade efficiency is slightly better. Gujarat, declare overseas, and yeah, this time I can call Jampur in, because they'll slaughter Bengal for me. Hopefully. Hopefully Persia don't come in and stomp all over them. Because I want Chittagong. Let's do it. I shouldn't have to fear any of the navy here. Seven heavies? Okay, maybe that is something to be feared, but at least we'll take out their trade ships here. I don't want to have to get my heavies involved. I don't want to pay all that. I'm confident that we'll be okay. Hmm. Should I get the quick kill on Bengal? Just let Gujarat uh, roll around for a wee while? Seems like something worth doing. If I just go through and destroy their men and then circle back over to Bengal, then we should be okay. Everybody got involved, but I have confidence in my ships thanks to our enormous naval morale. Look at that. Pop. Don't die now. Seems a shame not to be using you whilst you are still uh, an explorer. But really, what else is there to do around here? I'm not sure if these two islands, I think it's Christmas Island and something else, I'm not sure if they're trade companies or not, but we'll send them over there just in case. Can't get enough of those trade companies. Okay, unfortunately Persia is going to brutalize Jampur, and this is an overseas expansion war, so I actually need that. As expected, you've come for me in this land, so I can take you out quite easily and then make my over way over to Khuzestan. These claims don't really matter to us. I want to take just a few provinces. You're not the main person I'm fighting here. Even when they roll a 9 and I roll a 0, it's a victory for us. I'll take Kazakhstan, no problem. I trust you guys are not told to go home at war, it's just that you took a bit of a beating. And I will take Chittagong, don't you worry about that. Jake, they are trade companies. Thank you. Uh, I'll have to take them then. I'm pretty sure they're tropical though, so there shouldn't be any worry about them. Although thinking that makes me worry about it. Mogadishu gains a claim on... Kogu? No, it's Kongu. I don't like these events. Especially since I have no intention of taking Kongu, so I ignore your demand. And Madurai gets a bit of unrest, but nothing to worry about. Jake, when will you be able to go full-time gamer? I'm not sure I'd want to go full-time gamer, but uh, if I were three times as successful streaming as I am now, then that would be it. Oh my, we actually lost a battle. Maybe I should get the heavies involved if they're able to defeat us. Right, forget being mothballed. Get yourselves up there. We shouldn't need to pay you for very long. Which is just as well, because you're expensive. we wreck your capital, we take Chittagong. But I'm not sure
sure how we sort that out at the peace table. Do I separate peace Bengal? Because it would be quite a bit to do with that. Welcome to die. Although something other than a zero in the fire phase would be uh, much appreciated. Yeah, like that. <sighs> Not so hot. They brought in more than I expected. But that's okay. I like the fact that they were able to challenge me there. Jake, if you want free viewers, just play League of Legends with your top off like everyone else. Unfortunately, uh, you can no longer play topless. They introduced rules against that. Twitch, I mean. Well, you, you can play topless all you want, but you certainly can't stream it. I think it's going to, be have, going to have to be this C-Zone and then none others. Deal with you over in the Straits of Hormoz. You'll be in the Straits of Hormoz on the 23rd, we'll be there on the 24th, and we shall do battle. But it won't go well for you. Not by a long shot. Yeah, those handful of heavies were really the only threat to my navy there. Very, very little reason for me to bring my ships out for anything else there. I could simply pay more troops and overwhelm the enemy, but I'm not in the mood for doing that. I want to make do with the 240s that I've got. After all, I've got to conserve those shekels. Jake, why are colonies so important? I haven't seen you play a game without colonizing. It's free land. You don't pay any admin or diplo or mill to take these lands. You just stroll over and have them. And that's a very uh, that's a very big advantage for colonies. Because if you take land in any other way, you're generally going to have to pay through the nose one way or the other for them. certainly want Chittagong. Champions cost me battles, but in the long run I think that's going to be good. Should prevent call for peace. I just want Chittagong. It's only going to be 52%. Uh, can't have your capital back. Fortunately, garrisons on capitals grow back fairly quickly, even if they are in a foreign continent, which tends to slow it down. Okay, that seems good enough for me to pull a wrecking ball here. Come now, Persia. Don't you want to play? Yeah, they got me. Bring it on. To be honest, they're flanking me so hard, I don't think that battle's going to go in my favour. But some good rolls may change that. Again with his heavies. We'll show you. Bang goes Persia. Bang goes your navy. See, mothballing doesn't really bring your ships out of commission. As long as you overwhelm the enemy with a much better force, uh, it doesn't really matter what your maintenance is at, uh, what your ship condition is at. They still punch quite as hard.
Jake, blockade Bengal with transports and speed up your sieges. I'm not sure transports would be enough to dissuade his heavies. But you're right, perhaps it would be for the better to get those blockades going. I'll use my heavies for it. And you, if you can survive the trip, join up with the other guys there. It's nice to have a free transport. Oh, down to the wire here. Yeah, we got this. Got it in one shot. Might be a bit daft of us to press the advantage here, so we'll hold back a bit. Exceptional year is another one of those events that it's usually better to collect benefits over time. Give me 50% extra tax. That's our tax base, so that's generally going to work in our, in our benefit. Ha! Huh, meow came uh, came back to life. That poor lonely culture group. Are they really a bunch of peoples that have no uh, no similar cultures in all that area? I kind of feel sorry for them if that's the case. going well. Yeah, aside from Jam Pure getting wrecked, but that's what they get for using me. Curiously, Bengal, how much? Okay, I only have 29 on you. It's going to take a good 50 to get Chittagong. In fact, you wouldn't even white piece me at this stage. But that's fine. We'll have it all anyway. Jake, there's a small OPM in this war against you. If it isn't Gujarat Vassal, eat it fast. Uh, you must be talking about this guy. He is Gujarat's vassal. And I don't have a claim on him. I'd rather expand through claims so it's less of me less for me to spend taking all this land. <sighs> that I want though. Admirality, definitely. The great admirality of hm, You've already got our embassy, but you can have our admirality as well. You can have the War College. And Boynia seems like a good place for Fine Arts Academy. Very cheap in terms of points for me to build. I'm getting a 40% discount. It was a combination of cultures, but Paradox is too lazy to add them all. That must be with regards to Meow, right? Poor Meow. Nine, uh, sorry, three, six, seven base stacks. What about Yi? See, Yi belongs to the Tibetan culture group. A lot of things you have to relearn in this game. Alright, they're back for round two. That's great. I'm happy to give it to them. I'd be happier to give it to them with a better general, though. Where are you? Here you are. Since the Tibetans are a much bigger threat, We'll give you our four, uh, our four fire general, because they also have four fire. Much better for us. Chittagong, get. Whew, yeah, they're in no mood to give it to us, so let's go and convince them otherwise. Press the advance, but then fall back. It's just free battles for us, really. Speaking of free battles, I wonder if you can mothball your fleet in an enemy's port. Wow, you can? 
So when it pushes them back out to sea, does it remove the mothballing? We're going to find out on this useless carrack. Get it mothballed and see what happens to it later on. That's how we learn. Okay, one of our... Oh no, no, we're waiting on one of our colonists to arrive. Not to worry. Alright. I get the feeling that Persia is going to want to come for me here. Yeah, they aren't here for sightseeing. So how do we defend against them? These two are the most recent ones we set up, so let's get you out of there and over here. But if the Persians are so keen on doing that, perhaps we can make our advance in their country as well. And this is where we can use our transports to blockade. In fact, we really don't need these ships anymore once we get our sieges done here. And we almost have. We'll be able to get these fleets back to mothballed and save our shekels. Jake, with a one-year travel time, it's better to... Yeah, I know, recall your colonist. But then I'd have to move my people in advance, and I would no doubt forget about it. So that's why I'm not too keen on that. Hindu zealots are likely to rise up. Where and why? Hmm. But we don't have any Hindu land, do we? We do not. Okay. Most... Most fascinating. All right, we got you now, but you still don't want to give us Chittagong. I'd rather separate piece you free up, my man. You've been crazily efficient with the fort levels, so... Let's do what we can. Annihilate your navy. We no longer need this, so we will tell you to rest up in Shark. provinces should seal the deal there. After we take them, length of war should really uh, take over for that. Just one itty-bitty province. Come on. Alright, they're keen on going for us, but that's fine. Uh, it will cross a river if we attack them, but I have confidence we can destroy them anyway. Not that we'll need to. We can board onto the boat, get over here, and then do it like that. Jake, 1.8 messed up the rebel update cycle. Old rebel types will stick on provinces long after. That must be part of uh, what they're trying to do to make the game run a little better. Lose 200 in Taranaki. Gain the rest in... Well, yeah, sure. Oh, no. Not our first good air ever. A strange fever has claimed the life of your beloved heir, Ahmad. Let's see how good he was in field of battle as well. He wasn't too shabby. We'll find solace in the arms of the uh, the Lord. I don't want a weak heir. And at least we're under no threat of falling into a personal union. Always got to look on the bright side. Because the world is pretty dark. How is South America looking anyway? Yeah, Castilians getting their greasy fingers in on everything. But at least Bromalia seem to be doing alright. They don't, don't seem to have much problem with the unrest down here. Which is odd, but okay. They are fools. 
All right, uh, Basra falling suspiciously fast. I get a feeling Jampur is going to be kicked out of this war before too long. Strangely high with their war enthusiasm. Bengal certainly wants out. If you want out that badly, just give me Chittagong. Yeah, having a having a strong leader now means so much more than it used to. Jeez, I'm sorely tempted just to march in there. I don't want to lose Basra. Not that it makes much odds, I just don't like the feeling of losing land. Having it occupied by filthy Persian scum. If it holds out for this one, 72% chance it will hold, and we have nothing to worry about. Because now you die. Also, Castile is defender of the Catholic faith, which is going to make ripping into them quite a bit easier, because nobody's going to protect them. Chittagong is my claim, and it is now mine. This will establish a truce, blah -de blah I have no problem with that. Thanks for Chittagong. And now we move down over there and we can launch our attack from here. We'll core it up. We'll add it to the trade company. Goodbye unrest. Everybody wins, especially me. I just hope we don't get Hindu zealots there. Let's see. Bengali patriots. Well, they're a new addition to the list of uh, people that want to rise up. Jake, what kind of modifier would you like to see Paradox put in the game next? I'm not really sure what you're getting out there. What kind of new modifier? Gee, my, uh, my rules against Persia have been dirt lately. Glad to see it turn around there. This coastline will be mine. Right, so for example, this province here, it's almost done, so I can pretty much pull you. Well, not pretty much, I can pull you and stick you over there. And then when it says that finishes, I just march you up towards there, and everybody wins. And this, this uh, explorer refuses to die. I'm happy. Maybe this will kill him. Or maybe he'll swim home, who knows. Right, you need to be mothballed before I forget. Jake, what happened to the ship you mothballed in Bengal? Ah. He's still there. I wonder what we can do with him. I have no idea. You don't affect this at all, do you? From... I think it used to be a bug where ships counted towards friendly units in a province and you could use them to dramatically reduce revolt risk or unrest. That appears not to be the case. So, I can't move you because you're mothballed. I can't un- Oh yeah, you're forced out when I unmoth- Oh wait, no! You come out. But I can force you to stay there. I can keep you there permanently. But there's really no reason for me to do that. Interesting, but just a, a bug with no real use. At least from what I can see after looking at it for 10 seconds. Let's get you over to Goa. That's a province that I actually do want. Naj, I don't know what you're doing, but maybe I should give you some instruction. Naj, please do very little. Bah. Give them what they want. Jake, you can mothball ships and enemy fleets as scouts instead of black flagged units. I suppose you could. Still, a mothballed heavy is still quite expensive. It's only 50% off the price. 
Alright, we've discovered Christmas Island. Let's have a look at it. Jake, that Ogaden is begging to be colonized. Nope, doesn't produce anything. Yeah, Christmas Island is tropical. Nobody wants to go there. It's not nearly as festive as it sounds. I know that's mountainous, but maybe I can fool you. Nah, I see. I figures you want to go there. But you won't reach them in time. You'll get into that province and I will come and destroy you. Because it's what we do. Oh, he's a little faster than me. Oh well, good night, Nadge. Good to know you. Mothballed galley wouldn't have that problem. Indeed, you could use mothballed galleys. But we did not. Oh, we can finally get uh, another idea. Oh, wait, no, we can't. That's tech 14. My mistake. Jake, Ogaden was already in 1.7. It was already a normal province. Yeah, that doesn't matter. What matters is the region that it's in. The file that checks what trade good it gives you pays attention to what region it's in. So, for example, the South African region. South Africa can have gold, slaves, ivory, or grain. But these two, these regions here, which are Haud and Ormia, they don't actually get any goods. So, makes no difference. Still won't get a trade good. What a shame. So, maybe I'll... Uh, I'll colonize it when I have nothing else that I could possibly colonize. That's what we'll do. We're slaughtering our way through these uh, heavily because, well, we have cannon. I think I'll take North Concan for myself, just so I'll be able to forge claims around here. Because this is a lot of area to take claims in. North Concan, or this province. Probably this province, actually, because I'll be able to claim around here as well. It's not a problem to me having detached provinces, because I have a large enough navy to ship around a 40 stack, and a 40 stack should take care of any of these rebels that would want to rise up. They patched to your own exploit, but avoided adding that region to their list. Indeed, they did. Don't ask for their methods. Okay. Another one finished for Disappointment Hill. So I can send my troops up here. Kaffa. Someday, someday I will actually take your land. But let's just fabricate more claims so that we're ready for that day. You're in my culture group as well. It's very rare for me to leave it this long to unite my culture group. Unfortunately, that's your capital. I want it uh, for Nadge, but I won't be able to give it to them. I would have to take these provinces as well, which I'm not interested in taking. So I won't take it in this land, in this war. Toro still needs troops. You sure? Remember, if you want uh, if you want your message highlighted, which makes it a lot easier for me to read, just tag it with DDR Jake. Couldn't be simpler. It's tempting for me to fight Bachmanes, and then I can uh, protectorate them so I don't have to worry about them uh, allying with these nations around me, getting involved in future wars. Right now, Garjet. Again, a province that I don't want, so I'll just have to ignore their demands. At least it only gives plus five unrest. God, I'm so happy for you, Novgorod. Please keep eating Muscovy. Preferably chomping Siberia as well. 
They don't even take military ideas, whereas they have defensive and offensive and religious. Never underestimate religious ideas.